Example 1 using StatCrunch. Assume that females have pulse rates that are normally distributed with a mean of, of 77.0 beats per minute and a standard deviation of 12.0 beats per minute. First thing we want to do is we want to be able to draw the bell curve. So let's go ahead and draw the bell curve. Okay, and then we're going to locate where the mean is, which is 77.0. Okay, now in part A it says if one adult female is randomly selected, find the probability that her pulse rate is less than 83 beats per minute. So we're looking over here where 83 is located, and we want it to be less than that. So therefore, we're looking for the shaded area that's to the left of 83. Okay, so we want to do the following. We've drawn our curve and we've labeled each curve and then we want to find the z-score that's corresponding to 83. So here if we draw a line underneath there we know that for the z-scale we know the mean is going to be 0 and we're looking for this z-score here. So to find the z-scores correspond, notice that the individual value, meaning that we're only looking for one adult female, has been chosen. Therefore, we're going to use the population distribution to determine the probability. So we first convert the pulse rate to a corresponding z-score, where x is 83, the mean is 77, and the standard deviation is 12. So we're going to plug it into our formula. 83 minus 77 divided by 12 gives us 0 0.5. So therefore this is 0 0.5, 0 for our z-score. So what we want to do is we want to find the probability of x being less than 83, which is the same thing as the probability of x being less than 0 0.05. And the area that corresponds to the probability that an adult female's pulse rate is less than 83 beats per minute is the area under the standard normal cur distribution curve to the left of 0 0.05. So we're going to click STAT on the top of the menu, select Calculators from the drop-down menu, and then Normal from the sub-menu. And then in the calculator box, we want to make sure that the mean is 0 and standard deviation is 1. And since we're looking for the area to the left, we want to make sure to select the inequality be less than or equal to 0. And then we're going to enter the z-score of 0.05 and click Compute. So opening up Stat Crunch, we're going to follow those directions, STAT, Calculators, Go down to normal, make sure our mean is 0 and standard deviation is 1, make sure that the inequality is less than or equal to, less than or equal to and we're going to put in our z-score of 0 0.5 and then select compute. And our graph should look very similar to that one. So taking a look at this graph you will see that we end up getting the following probability. We get 0 0.6915, which is rounded to four decimal places. So therefore, the probability that a randomly selected adult female's pulse rate is less than 83 beats per minute is 0 0.6915. Now, if nine adult females are randomly selected, find the probability that they, they have pulse rates with a mean less than 83 beats per minute. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw our bell curve. We have the same distribution here. We know that our mean is equal to 77. Okay, we know that we're looking for the values that are less than 83. So we're looking for the probability that we're shading everything to the left. So we're looking for the area there. And so underneath there, we look at the z-scale. We know that the mean would equal 0, and we're looking for the z-score. 
So we draw on the curve, we labeled each item, and in this case the desired probability is for the mean of the sample of females because we have nine. Therefore, use the central limit theorem, and the central limit theorem applies when a population has a normal distribution or the sample size n is greater than 30. So if x is equal to 83, the mean is 77, the standard deviation is 12, and n is equal to 9, according to the central limit theorem, we would plug it into the formula. We would get 83 minus 77 divided by 12.0, which is divided by the square root of 9, because we're using this formula because of the fact that we have a mean of the sample of females. So if we did this on a calculator, we would do the following. 83 minus 77, enter, and then divide that by parentheses the uh, 12, divided by the second square root of 9, shift over, and then parentheses, and then we're going to get 1.50, which if we follow this here, 6 divided by 12 divided by 3 is 4, 6 divided by 4 is 1.5, so therefore that is the z-score that we're working with. So in StatCrunch, we would do the following. We're going to click Stat, select Calculators, and then go to Normal. Make sure we have 0 and 1 for our mean and standard deviation. And then we're going to make sure, since we're looking for the area to the left, to have the inequality sign of less than or equal to, and then enter the z-score of 1.5. So let's go ahead and do that. So here, now we're going to put in the z-score of 1.5. And then you can see that we get the same graph there, but there is the probability. So our probability, rounded to four decimal places, is 0 0.9332. So that's 0 0.9332. So therefore, we get the probability of 0 0.9332. And that, the probability that the mean pulse rate of a sample of nine randomly selected females is less than 83 beats per minute is 0 0.9332. Now the next question says, why can the normal distribution be used in part B even though the sample size does not exceed 30? Well, since the original population has a normal distribution, the distribution of the sample means is a normal distribution of any sample size. 